Oh, we're definitely looking forward to that. And we are also celebrating International Bacon Day, as you've seen on the show and in the kitchen this morning. And nothing shows off the savory versatility of bacon more than a scrumptious quiche. Mm. Now, today, we're making a flavorful, savory delight with our favorite Jenny Morris in the building. Well, how, how you do it, Jenny? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I thought, you know, after our last kitchen, I promised. And as we discussed, we, 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 we get closer chef. to the half-naked <laughs> chef. And here we are. Well, look at you. <laughs> Yeah, you are. I'm here to serve on a Monday, <laughs> brighten up everybody's day, I hope, and you are here to do the exact same with this recipe, right? Because who doesn't like bacon? Well, darling, I should, oh, I should be bringing my dark glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Follow my eyes. <laughs> so here, um, you're probably wondering, what are these dry beans yeah, doing? And what here? is it sitting in as well? Because that already looks like half a bit of a pie. This is a pastry, so okay. we don't want to have a soggy bottom. Um, on no our one wants a soggy our... bottom, Jenny. Nobody likes a soggy bottom. <laughs> so we bake blind, and by doing that, we just put a little bit of baking paper. You can put, you get baking beads. I just use beans, and you okay. can really use them. So we waste not, want not. Yes. And um, definitely, bacon is going to be heroed in of this course. dish. Of course. So over here, I'm going to add, and darling, you're going to whisk. All right. That's my boy. What is this? Cream cheese. This is cream cheese. All right. Delicious, and whisking it with. Cheese. No, I mean, I just whisk in the cream just cheese as is. Cheese. Oh, I'm we're putting cheese in an oh. Yes, cheese in it. Okay, I got you. Yeah, and if, if that, uh, you can use that to make life easier. Let's see how this goes. I've come never closer, done this Come closer to me. <laughs> you have to keep your social distance, but not too far, okay? <laughs> push the limit. Don't push the limit. And then just get that mixed in beautifully. Right, okay. And I've never then, done this before. Mixing cheese, yes. cream cheese, and egg. Well, it's going to make it so rich. Okay. It's going to make it rich. Normally, you would have like a cream or a nice milky base. Yeah. Well, hello, look at that. I mean, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being very naughty. <laughs> but I can. A little bit of salt. I'm not going to put too much salt in okay. here. The reason being the Parmesan cheese has got salt, the olives are a little bit salty, and so does your feta have quite a bit of salt, OK? Yeah. And But a bit of pepper. I'm not afraid of pepper. So uh, one of the tips my mom taught me <clears throat> growing up was always have a nice hot baking tray mm -hmm. because it also helps when you put this down onto it. It also stops the um, bottom from being soggy. Okay, of course. I mean, no As one we soggy bottom. Don't yeah. want soggy bottom, baby. <laughs> All right. So um, I would like you to put your whisk down. How's that look, by the way? Pretty good. It, it looks gorgeous. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, this, yes, this is good. <laughs> I want you to hold this, and I'm going to guide you. Pour right. it from the centre. Now it's done. Go on, darling. All right. There nice you go. And slow. Yes, please. This is very, very good. <laughs> Look at that and make sure all that gorgeous Ooh, cheesiness yes. is in it. All right, I see what's going to happen now. It's going to be divine. Yeah. We're going to, like, parmesan the top. Now, the, the sky's the limit, you know what, when it comes to... When it comes to bacon and cheese, can there be enough cheese? Can there be enough bacon? Never yeah. enough, darling. Never, never, never. never, <laughs> never. And I'm going to put the olives. As I was saying, it's nice and um, salty. Yeah. And then the, the, this just nice big... Look oh, at this. Like big, what, three big cheeses chunks. now already, right? Gorgeous, absolutely. Oh, nice. It's very decadent. Um, and pass me the little bacon. Oh, Jenny, and I'm absolutely loving all the ingredients here, and especially our hero ingredient being our bacon, but it's not the only hero ingredient. We've also got our Bewell canola and olive oil blend. Absolutely. Yeah. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to anoint the piece that I've made for you. Anointing, Carl. okay. I'm going to anoint it for you. <laughs> Set this Monday off. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. You can have that piece. Oh, <laughs> it's nice and much. clean. And then maybe you want to put a couple of cherry tomatoes, or you can even do um, some slices of tomatoes. Really, really good. So what I've done with this one is I have actually got some beautiful fresh basil, because basil, tomatoes, and bacon love oh, to be in each other's combo. company. And that looks so good, too. It's almost like what I'd imagine a really good pizza topping to look like. But totally. it's got more meat, more depth. Absolutely. More all of the good stuff. Look at that. How hungry are you? Well, after chowing a little bit of that bacon, I'm yeah. in for... Are you in for My fasting is no longer a thing anymore. You know, Ginny, I normally do intermittent fasting, right? Yes, so see. often I am tempted by you kryptonite chefs that make these delicious foods, especially when I have to taste I them. Don't, I but... don't like the plural that you just used now. Oh, because there's only one. Yes, yes, yes. Let me take that back. There is only one. But when it comes to your <laughs> course, I can't resist. I'll give up intermittent fasting for this. Because, I mean, come on, it's international back on day. <laughs> So, get your fork ready. All right, fork and is ready. And your knife. Oh, look at this. This is, can you hear that crunch? Oh, you see, this so, is, this so is why good. it's so important. 
Oh, Jenny, and it looks absolutely delicious. Well, while you're serving that up, let's talk about our hero ingredient, which is Be Well Canola and the Olive Oil Blend. Now, it's the unique benefits of Be Well Canola Oil combined with the taste of carefully selected extra virgin olive oils to produce a quality oil with a beautiful olive taste profile. Now, it's made exclusively using locally sourced GMO-free canola oil. I mean, what's not more reason to tuck into this goodness? <laughs> Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> and a little bit of basil. Very nice. All right, so are we ready? Can I tuck in? Darling, you hit Simple the ground as running. that Jenny Morris in the building. Let me take a TV bite. Expressoshow.com, of course, if you want this recipe inspiration. It's bacon day. Cheers to you. <laughs> mm. and that's a definite box ticked. Oh, yes, it's crunchy, it's juicy, it's cheesy. It's everything I wanted. Jenny Morris, thank you very much. Mm. Fingers love. Yes. Wow. <laughs>